Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. The Lunatic Song Game. Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. Problematic Pub Podcast. Get out of here. Good news, we are now on Patreon, Simon! Hey. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's set up like YouTube. It's a platform where people like yourselves support podcasts like us from just £3 a month or 75 pence a week. For your support, you have an extra four episodes a month, uncensored, untethered, plus extra content like stand-up, sketches, live podcasts, only exclusive on Patreon. Patreon is really simple. Uh, you can sign up whenever you want and you can cancel whenever you want as well. We've actually put the link below so you can go on there or you can download the app or you can go on the website and have a look there. Uh, basically, we need all the support we can get so we can carry on paying for the studio, get you guys the best guests we can possibly get on as well. So thanks for the support so far, but get on it. Come on, it's rolling. Yeah, well Okay. Welcome to the Problematic Pub Podcast with myself, Sandro Ford. Me, Simon Emmanuel. And we've got some guests on, have we, Simon? We have. We've got uh, brilliant comedian, South Wales based, uh, it's Ongasi! Hey! 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 And another guy that I've known for a long time coming back under the comedy server is Matt Hey! Welcome, boys. How big is your cock? No, um... <laughs> <laughs> At the end of this episode, you get dick lash. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you told me that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the episode, boys. Um, thank you for coming on. At the start, what we like to do with all our guests is uh, we don't ask many questions about the guests. It's more b- b- about banter, really. But we're going to give you thirty seconds each to say a bit about yourself, and then we're going to move on. So, Anka, go first. Oh wow! I've been thinking about this. My name's Anka. I'm the most famous Asian in Wales. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm claiming that spot already. I'm on the pop. I'm on the pod. You know the podcast. You know what I'm saying? I, so that is definitely true now. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I've been in the comedy scene for two years and uh, loving it. Uh, as soon as I hit my forties, I had a breakdown, and I thought, oh well, let's have a go with this comedy <laughs> thing. <laughs> no and one uh, starts comedy without the breakdown first. Hundred <laughs> percent. And I've had every breakdown in every gig ever since. So that was not a really good thing. Um, just work with my dad and I got 10,000 fucking children in one go. I'll explain <laughs> that in a bit. And uh, I only look 25 and uh, yeah, you know. And we don't actually wait, mate. Um, right. <laughs> 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 we'll get to that later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Matt, go. Right, so, right, so I started comedy like you probably back in 2010 I think Round it was like there, that, yeah. at that time. So, uh, went well, done well for a while. Yeah. All good. And then kids, family, life. Can't do it no more. You grew up, basically. Grew up, yeah. 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 Well, we haven't. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, <laughs> mate, I'm, I'm 40. Like, when, when, yeah. when's it going to happen for me? Like, Jesus. And then that cancel culture came in. I'm like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Can't use that joke, that yeah. joke, that joke, that joke, that joke. You know what? I'm going to let the kids out of the basement now, you bastard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just trying to make jokes about spiced bread and I. <laughs> about your intolerances and shit. Like yeah. That. Yeah. So that's pretty much me. So, uh, Unga, you said that, that you work uh, you work with your dad. What What's that about? What are you doing there? Oh, God. We've been... Uh, we'd well, we've got a chip shop at the moment. We've got two. Yeah. Uh, but one we burnt down there. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Did, did one burn, burn down? Yeah, one did fucking burnt down. Yeah? I fucking had a spicy curry that night. I shouldn't did let go off my near the fryer. Do you know what I'm saying? Dad. Woo! One five minutes. Did anybody get hurt then? No, no. Look, thank God. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I got a bit of a connection, Mick. I, I burnt it down because yeah. the only way I'm going to stop one chip shop is if they're all gone. Yeah, what I love about this. <laughs> So many subjects that come up on this podcast you've had zero knowledge about, right? He's mentioned chip shop. You already know that one burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, what, what are you? Are you just I got an alcohol <laughs> chip shop? I thought, did we got the CCD camera? This like this guy rolling around like in a hoodie. Do you know what I mean? Eating all the fucking pies. Do you know what I mean? Because we don't. We, what's, what's your favorite pie again? Evans pie. Evan pie. The world. He fucking looked at this guy screaming. Not fucking. Evan. Wants to let you know about their festival coming up, the Shunk Fest, coming up very soon over three days. It's from the 30th of August all the way through to the 1st September. 
Shunk Fest is it a normal music festival locally with a few cover bands and it got a tribute act with a wig on at the end. It's nothing like that. It's got three days original music from 25 bands from across the UK's headliners include Slug, Saloon Dion, Get Down Services with support from the one the only Pigeon Wings, Water Pistol, Art, The Shunkos, The Lost Cause, Jackson Lucet, HKH and much more. You're now wondering how much all this would cost for 25 bands. Mm, well, just ask God. How much would it cost for 25 bands a unique venue with a licence bar? How much is it going to cost, hey, man? What, what you're saying, God? It's 20 pounds! 20 pounds for three days, baby! 20 pounds for the three days. Where do you get tickets from? You can go to shunkfest.co.uk. And how many days is it on for? Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yeah. I went last year, I enjoyed it. This is Jen, and it was absolutely class. Simon's come this year, Jack's coming, the producer. We're going to have a laugh. We're going to have a good time. Go to shunkfest.co.uk. Honestly, you've amazed okay, people. So I got a, a question for both of you guys. We love, we love asking our guests this, man, because this podcast is all about sort of uh, risky stories and stuff like that. We want to ask you guys <laughs> about embarrassing situations that you've had in your life. Now, this could be like, uh, uh, it could be a date that's gone pear-shaped. It could be a sexual embarrassing situation or just something that's happened in your life and you're like, this is absolutely insane. Do you want to start, Matt? Anything come to mind for you? <sighs> Do you know what? I... I I, got, I genuinely got no shame, right? Yeah, and, that's, yeah. and that's the thing with me, I got no shame. Yeah. So, lots of things don't really embarrass me. Like, when I shit on my telly once, right? <laughs> right? Like, every, everyone like who hears this story thinks I just wrote it for comedy, right? Yeah. It's a genuine story. Yeah. I shit on my telly. <laughs> right? And, yeah. Right? So, and I've never done this before. This has never happened before. It haven't happened yeah. since, right? It's so not like, something that happens all the time, to be fair. No, it's not. <laughs> but, this normal thing, like... Yeah. So it's another thing. I woke up in the morning, came downstairs. I woke up in bed and I was yeah. like, oh, I fucking was I blood. I thought it was blood all over. Oh, yeah. I cut myself, pissed or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. So I went downstairs and it was just a big pile next to the telly, right? I, and I was like, fuck is that? And then I got a bit, I thought it was kebab, right? At first. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely thought it was kebab now, right? So when I got closer to it then, I was looking at it, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I, I proper. Do taste proper. test. Uh, <laughs> no, I parted, I parted it a bit. It became obvious. Anyway. Right? <laughs> like Moses, like <laughs> yeah, and and like my mate was sleeping on a settee, and I, and I was just like, what the? F-? And I proper, like, I sat down. So it was like on a like something like this with the telly was on a stand. Yeah, yeah. And I sat down, took my knob as well, like that, and I I'd gone like that. So it was all, I don't know, don't know why, never happened again. And did you think of blaming your mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred percent. Fuck it, Is this your, like before you made? Oh no, this is like before. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say because if I had happened now, like, Mrs. Come down. No, what have you done? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I had happened now, I. Nah. Oh, this is the guy. What have you done? It, it was a dog. We haven't got a fucking dog. <laughs> yeah. It was the kids. No, that, and that, like I said, to that again, I don't really get embarrassed so much. Um, <laughs> I know, I know because, shit, like, literally. Onka but, turns up. We need some toilet rolls. Yeah. <laughs> It lands when at the box like ah, they yeah. flop in there. <laughs> nah, so it's two for one. <laughs> that's funny, man. That that, that that is like that's one of the maddest stories we've heard. Which you said it sounds made up, and people used to think you made up for comedy. Yeah, but like I know it's true because the way you told that, even you're being completely vague about. I don't know how the fuck that happened. That's I have that's no, brilliant. No clue whatsoever. That's really funny, Uncle. What about you, man? Anything embarrassing that stuck sticks in your mind? Oh, I don't know. There's a few, man. This no, I'm going to talk about comedy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Attack people, yes. <laughs> uh, 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 you got some funny ones. Oh, I, I don't know. It's like, what, embarrassing stories? Like crazy stories? Or something? Oh, anything, yeah. Or like stuff you've done, done something stupid in the shop or whatever. Or, or fucking... Oh, I don't know. It's like one... I don't know. I, I literally... I'll, I'll think about that. I'll, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was thinking about it. It was like... <coughs> one, well, one... What, it was cringe, yeah. Cause so, anyway, so... When we're doing wedding guru, we're filming, yeah? So yeah. Asians, yeah, they're always fucking late, yeah? And I yeah. say that as an Asian, yeah? So if you have Asian friends, if something starts at 10, yeah, say to them it starts at freaking 8 o'clock. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah? and it used to happen at weddings, yeah? yeah? I used to advise them anyway. So we, we're doing this buffet. We're doing this, like, big party at our hotel that we, we had at the time and stuff. We're doing all that. Anyway, so starters are gone out, and mains are coming, starters are coming, and mains are going to come out. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we st- you know, and mains are literally 15 minutes away. And we're two hours into the party now, this event we're hosting. Yeah. So there's three, four Haitians rolled up, yeah? 
and it's, don't get me wrong, some of them are like, they think they're like dons and stuff, yeah? Because so oh, right, sometimes okay. in India, yeah, they roll back and they say to the waiters, because some people treat the waiters in India like shit, like, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Anyway, so, but they thought I would be like that. <laughs> that was a different fucking story, yeah? yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so they woke up and he sat down, he said to the waiter, yeah, and it's self service now, yeah? yeah? He goes to the waiter, like the guy who's just picking up plates, get us some fucking main meals, yeah? So yeah. This guy's like, get us main meals. And I, and I heard him, yeah? But, so what, but anyway, so I went over to the guy and I said, uh, Baji, how you doing? You, Baji means uh, like, um, brother, how you doing? Yeah, you yeah, okay yeah. and all that. <clears throat> he goes, um, I said, well, what do you want? He goes, oh, um, we want to um, get us the mains. I said, well, the mains are not coming out yet, but you can have the start. You know, there's a bit of starters. I'll go get it for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. He goes, no, we want the fucking mains like now. Yeah, yeah. Now, like, and, we, and it's not ready. And I turned, <laughs> so <laughs> literally I said, listen. So I, I turned around and I said, look, the mains will be fucking ready when the mains are fucking ready. Yeah. Yeah. She's so standing there and they all got like stuck up and stuff. And he goes, well, okay, we'll get the starters. And he goes, oh, well, we want the yogurts. Yeah. Yeah. He well, goes, the, the, the corners. Yeah. So he goes, <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> no, not, not fucking mullet, mullet oh. corner. <laughs> I love a muller corner. <laughs> I'm an Indian French chicken. Yeah, I got muller rice in the corner. <laughs> I love to see the Indian food in that. Right? It's the yogurt, and then you just fold in the pompadour. <laughs> oh, I'm going to buy Bombay mix. Watch that guy's face who brought him up. <laughs> and, and the main thing, go make some beans on toast. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, you get an idea now as well. <laughs> So, the, so there's some chicken tikka left, and he yeah. goes, "Well, we got I got him some chicken tikka, and there's no yogurt." And he goes, you "Go get me some fucking yogurt." I said, "You can go fucking get the yogurt yourself." Mm. But what I didn't realize, I walked back into the room and I, I almost forgot because that day we were being filming for Wedding Guru. Yeah. Yeah. So I walked into the back, the cameraman's there yeah. laughing away, <laughs> going like that. And you imagine it's like 200, this hall is really big. And yeah. I thought he wouldn't hear me. Yeah. I forgot he was there. He's on camera. And yeah, he's on camera. Oh, no. And he goes like this and he, goes, he started laughing. And I walked past him. He said, You got that on camera. And he goes, It's fucking beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Continue. And I walked in and a few he goes, the guy wants me to get fucking yogurts. He can go get his fucking own yogurts. Anyway, so they kind of like edited it out, but put this bit when I'm fuming. Yeah. So anyway, when it airs uh, nine months later, I'm walking into the cash and carry. It's already been aired. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking having a go at this guy in the camera going, I mean, they're ranting at the camera yeah. going, he can get his own fucking curry. Yeah, like, yeah. His own yogurt. He's walking around the cash and carry. And for two hours, I was trying to avoid him. <laughs> <laughs> So my old man <laughs> phoned me up. What's taking you so long? I don't know, man, but I don't know if he's seen the series. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I was literally cussing him in the back. Hey, 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 <laughs> isn't that so cliche? You're like, all right. Like, say the guy had an argument in the wedding. I've been in where this trying to fucking avoid him. Yeah. Asians avoid in cash and carries. <laughs> it's fucking funny, isn't it? Another sponsorship uh, this episode is Avon Heating and Plumbing, based in Batalbot and cover all South Wales area. They are specialists in all aspects of heating and plumbing and offer 0%, that's 0% finance on all boilers, heating and bathroom installations. And they also do a 24-hour call-out service. You can find them on Facebook or Google for all the contact details and to book. Please don't hesitate. Thank you. One of the biggest arguments we've ever had, me and my dad, it lasted for days. It was like over salad trays, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <So> <laughs> Yeah, like I'm supposed to be, I'm thinking this program is going to make me. Yeah? <laughs> We're going to get loads of weddings from this. And yeah, stuff yeah. Like that, you know, people like, you know, you've seen like weddings. Oh my God, we've got to book this guy. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I didn't know how big, like it got quite big in the Asian community. So like, so any, so when we, one of the programs, you probably saw it, Sam, we walked into the Vail Hotel beautiful time yeah, yeah. and my old man he's in the camera and they, and they caught it really good so man goes uh you got the so he's driving there and he goes you got the salad tray oh, i haven't got the fucking salad tray yeah he goes well it's your bloody job to bloody get the salad tray <laughs> and i said well you're the fucking chef you're supposed to get the salad tray yeah. and we're arguing with each other on the phone yeah on the freaking tv arguing <laughs> over freaking salad tray <laughs> and i've got like 500 prestigious guests and they say hey my fucking problem you get salad tray <laughs> you get the freaking salad tray and he gets more and more in the like yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally and I end up sounding like my dad. He's got an accent. Yeah. Like, you bloody got it then, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God. And it's like, I look back on the TV and I go, oh my God. I'm, fight, I'm fighting with so him. No, no. Every, every young, you go like your mate's house and like, uh, their mother has <laughs> shout them and they start arguing. Yeah. And they all stand there. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, it, arguing, the car man's like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got to say anything like, he's got, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, and then he goes so pissed off, he burnt his chip shop down. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> older graduate, don't you know? <laughs> ah, <laughs> I used to have that. My mother, I used to say about your mother, like, you know, obviously, our kids are going in front of their mother. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Are on, in awkward situations, right? My mother used to wait anyone being in our house, right? So she yeah. was working, she'd come home. So we once, we were sat there watching, um, uh, what's that one? Uh, Six Cents, mm. right? She came in, we're halfway through Six Cents now, and she walked in. Uh, she's tamping, right? Four yeah. of the boys there were sat there watching. She's doing nothing wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. And she's coming. She's like, what are you doing in my house? Oh, ma'am, just watching a film. And she's like, look, I told you, I don't have any house. Right. And right. And she, and she, she, was, she went, he's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Who's with this? He's a ghost. Now get out. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, <laughs> absolute <laughs> psycho of a woman, right? <laughs> My mate, my twenty-first, my twenty-first birthday, right? My mate went, my mate went to the toilet. You need to have a dump, right? He went, to, he went to the toilet upstairs. Now, went the upstairs toilet, not the downstairs. Toilet, right? Yeah, bad move. So he's up there now, and he, he always remembers it. He sat there, he's on the toilet, and all of a sudden, who's in there? He's going, Daniel, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> he's like twenty-one. Now. He went, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm in a poo. Yeah. get out of my toilet. Like proper went out there, and he still yeah. talks about it now. He's like, shit, my mother, because like, I'm shitting upstairs. <laughs> oh, get out of my house. It's okay, 21st birthday. Going, always going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> like, shit, isn't it? I love the idea that she like ruined the film. Like, even if you're halfway through, she's going like, to ruin the end. And I'd love it if she applied that to other situations. She came home one day, you've got a girl upstairs. She shouts up, he won't make you come, get out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> but she is nuts, right? Because and like it's one time, right, I'll tell his last thing, right? She yeah. went to um, uh, his place called Powerhouse, right? And yeah. then uh, he's like shopping, obviously, TVs, fridge freezers, everything and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, right? Like curry. And that. Yeah. So she's in there now and she's watching uh, these these TVs and the guy's oh, I'll put a film on now, you can see the quality of it, right? Yeah, yeah. So for this film on it was just like a rendition of all these different like action films and all that and yeah. Terminator was on it, right? I think the class this is now, right? You couldn't write this. Yeah. So watched it now, and he turned around and the guy was like, What do you think? This Terminator 2 when I just finished. Like, I went, hmm, I'll be back. Oh fuck off! <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute nuts. Oh, oh, like mother shout here. Mother shout here. If, if my brother like out like big, big a bird home, she be like she go and says you see like shoes. She go like ah, yeah. Get that tart out of my house, ever. Yeah. With me, if they're like ah, she walking, she empty carry bag. Get that take me out of your bedroom. <laughs> 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 different kids, different problems. Like. My, my, uh, <laughs> It's genuine. My mum used to have this saying, right? Like, um, that if, I, if I was doing something I wasn't supposed to, she'd always use that word, and then she'd say, I'll do that on, on your ass now. Like, as, as in, like, a fucking fret for beating. So, say I was kicking fucking a football against the wall. She's like, What are you doing? I'm going, just kicking the ball. She's going, I'll fucking get that ball on your ass now. One time I was outside repairing my bike, and I go, Shh, shh, shh what are you doing? I'm like, I pumped up the time. She goes, I'll pump your ass now. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Maureen! <laughs> <laughs> ah, they are wild. Our next bond ship is complete composite doors, windows and repairs. They specialise in all aspects of the double glaze industry, from UPVC to aluminium windows and doors and glass replacements. They also specialise in high quality composite doors for over 100 designs to choose from. They are at Circas accredited company and they have over 10 years experience in the double glazing industry covering all of South Wales they are a proud sponsor of this podcast I say thank you very much also the products also come with a 10 year guarantee for the free quotation please contact them directly on 0169 500 515 you can also find them on Facebook Google and also look at their high standard of quality work thank you very much yeah thank you very much that's so another question we got on, on this podcast was we uh, we love this question. We, we we talk about lies in life that you might have uh, a lie that you've told you either got away with or something that you've got caught out with. Is there anything that comes to mind? Oh God, I've been thinking about it. You go you go ahead, man. Oh, you got some. Oh, I'm a good boy, but <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I no, no. Yeah, right. So it's one. I think it's until until now. Yeah, yeah. Now is probably so. Back in when I was getting married, 2010, my missus had a stag do, right? So a, a hen do, sorry. Yeah, so yeah. she was on the hen. One of my best mates came up and we said, right, we'll have a razz in the garden. Mm. Now, it? So loads of lagers, loads of ciders, went through them, smashed yeah. it all, right? And we're like, oh, what are we going to drink now? Right? So we had like Transnation on as well. We wanted to get fucking steaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Mally sings it's Transnation. Like, yeah, we had, it, we had it going, right? <laughs> and so we're like, looking through the cupboard and we found this big... F- like fruit fountain, no, no, no uh, cocktail fountain, no, the, the chocolate fountain. Like oh, cocktail, yeah. oh, I've right? seen them, yeah, so yeah. Pop all the 
the alcohol in there, so I yeah. literally went through everything that we had. Yeah. And then there was a bottle of peach snaps that my missus had for years, right? Yeah. Being yeah. in there, and I was steaming, just poured it all in there now, right? Um, and I know she'd had a few years. She loves peach snaps. Yeah. So, cracked on, and I drank it next morning, and I woke up, and obviously, shit-faced, rough as hell, and I was like, shit on oh. the TV. No, yeah, <laughs> shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, a, it's, not, it's not a shit fountain. Yeah, it's a what shit the fountain. Fuck yeah. is this? So I, <laughs> <laughs> I I remember this peach snaps now, right? I know she's had it for years. I know she loved it and all yeah. like now. And I was just thinking to myself, oh fuck. Yeah. Drunk it. Drunk it. I right? yeah. went through it. So anyway, didn't say nothing about it. Left it in there. Must have been about two years ago now, so we're talking about, I mean, a good few years. Yeah. She just went, like, I should, she's opened this cupboard, she was cleaning out the cupboard and all that, right, moving the kitchen. She opened this, went, bloody hell! I said, what? You want peach snaps, sir? I went, yeah. She went, she went it's actually, it's evaporated. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used it for so long. It's empty. Shut up! <laughs> That's fucking nuts. <laughs> Does she not know that no, to this day? No, she doesn't know She that. will know! Hey! 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 Divorce Podcast! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were destroying marriages. Um, <laughs> I, I, I thought, because it was part of Valleys, I thought it was, it was something like, because all the Valleys have a sweet, go, my old man left me on his will, like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot to be like. <laughs> oh man! Well, it's, it's, I, I, I like this question actually. It, what, obviously, the, the valleys is fucking rough and ready up there, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. What's the roughest thing you've ever seen happen in the valleys, mate? Roughest you must thing I've ever things, seen happen right? up the valleys. Right, fuck me. <laughs> I love you... that vote because that's a man <laughs> that's got about twenty. Right? <laughs> yeah. Which one wasn't I not involved in? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's it. Oh, yeah. that's just, that's I can't say because like I go judge people for being rough, and then I look at myself sometimes and go, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm, <laughs> I'm one of them. Like, yeah. oh, it's just so mad in the valleys. I don't know. There's just so many different things you see, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, tramp fighting. I remember I saw two. two fa- Where was I? Right, they were fighting. There was some, some like a guitar shop. I can't think exactly yeah, what it was. Yeah. Right, it might have been a cash up, up a valley, one of the valleys. Right, and they had a scrap, like a bit of like, pop yeah. of banter at each other, like, going at each other. Right, you, you know why that happens, right? With tramps, they fight a lot because you know when you want to fight someone, you ask them to step outside. <clears throat> Tramps are already outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, boy. <laughs> They're ready to roll, right? So, so I, I'm minding my own business. They had a little go in there. They walked out. One of them walked out, didn't they? So next thing you know, I, I just, all you do is just fucking crash, right? Yeah. And this fucking beauty come back with the guitar. Oh, <laughs> smashed them across the head. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, I just st- like. So anyway, he was twatted on the floor <laughs> now, right? And he just carried on, went up, sat outside and started swinging. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Strongbow. That, that had carried on, mate. He twatted him with a guitar. Next drum kit comes back the other way. <laughs> yeah. Is that a tune? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even his own guitar. It was, it was the music store. So it wasn't like, as if he had his own guitar. Oh, I smashed it Because he he's usually have, if they're homeless, you'll have a So he ran into the music store, took the guitar. Yeah, they were both in it. Over the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was in the, it was in the store. <laughs> and they had just... It's just nuts, isn't it? But the, the valleys is nuts. I mean, the further the further up the valley you go, the worse oh, yeah. as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Tell me about it. But yeah, <laughs> they're burning chip shops down there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and you've, and but, you've had some sights in your shop, or, oh man, I we we know drunk people late at night. Like, so what the fuck you doing? Like? I, I so we've had like so we had so you know when he said like I got two lies, yeah. So the but one the best lie is what my dad told me, yeah. yeah. Until to this day, he still he still cries. Was like, it he, he loved, loved you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I told him he was famous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm your dad. That's the biggest <laughs> lie. <laughs> I was wondering why it was this. <laughs> You're not Asian. <laughs> Stavros Flat <Leland>. yeah. <laughs> Your father is Nicholas P- Papalinus. <laughs> oh, I'm Greek. Don't put this in my mum. She's going to come in here with her freaking oh. patty maker. Oh, I got patty as well. So, my dad, so. so we we so in the valleys we've always had shops uh, we've had like takeaways and then so um, so back like thirty years ago nearly how old am I now fuck me you know when you hit the forties you don't give a shit afterwards this <laughs> <laughs> is it's literally true so when we were about seven I was seventeen so yeah. we had this retail store up in Chiorki yeah anyway 
So this hotel came in the market, and so my dad's friend, best friend at the time, literally said, "Look, listen, this hotel's coming up." Where was and it? Yeah, I'll tell you now, yeah, what fucking wait, because every everyone would know what it is, yeah. Yeah. So uh, he said, "This hotel's on for sale." Now I never knew about it, yeah. So your dad says, "Look, listen, you know, we all." My dad was entrepreneur. I was seventeen. My brother's like twenty-one. He said, yeah. "Look, listen, let's have a look at this." And I said, "Okay, fucking hell." So we went down, went into Lantrison, yeah, and literally turned up, yeah. And fuck me, I thought, yeah, I turned into Mad Max. Yeah, it was the fucking Black Prince. Yeah, in Lantricent. You ever heard of it? Yeah, no. like, You've never heard of the Black Prince in no, the fucking no, house? Is it Max? Bro, yeah. bro yeah. listen. Oh, is it, is, there's no tourism in, in no, but, but listen, the hotel. Why did you think it was up for sale? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ray about 20 years. Yeah. So my guy knew the owner, yeah. It's just this guy called Ray Long. Yeah. Ray Long, yeah. He's he's a he, no, he's a le- <laughs> this guy, yeah, is the fucking wheeler dealer of the uh, of Ronda Valleys. Everyone back in the day knew Ray Long. Yeah. yeah. He this guy, yeah, fucking did some things. He looked like yeah. David Bowie. Huh? Was that the one like David Bowie? Looked like David Bowie. Is it Ray? I'm sure of that. Anyway. So anyway, so he knew this friend. He said, look, listen, I'm ready to put in a sale. Yeah, the guy made some money. Yeah. Went in there, fucking car parks packed and everything but he had a, a disco hall upstairs I can't say I can't believe I said fucking disco hall yeah <laughs> yes. that's so old you are yeah, yeah. that's so old you had this nightclub yeah? disc jockey no. there <laughs> this, I tell you one thing yeah <laughs> the, the gold the, the fucking glitter ball wasn't the only thing fucking flashing in there yeah so literally <laughs> So we get upstairs, yeah, and as we're getting upstairs, me and my brother, my dad, and his best friends walking up to the stairs, yeah. But and listen, don't forget, yeah, we're literally the only Asians there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You, know what I mean? you know, like I really resonate. You know, the only gay in the village. Yeah, yeah. yeah I really re- resonate that because I just need to add Asian to that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay though. <laughs> I'm gay and Asian. 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 I love it. I will start that. Uh, I can imagine it. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would accept me, neither does my fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gay Greek, I think. <laughs> so we walked in, yeah. Walked up the stairs, and I'm talking, yeah. These bouncers, yeah. I'm literally coming, they got muscles coming out their fucking necks, cutting like literally no neck. Yeah. And this guy fucking got chucked down the stairs. Yeah. Literally past our face, yeah. Yeah. I went, where the fuck are we? This literally is a scene of Mad Max. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking, where the fuck are we? Music, it was packed and stuff. My dad turned away, got to the top of stairs. He turns around to me, he goes, fucking hell, is that busy? They're chucking people out. <laughs> 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 I, sw- oh, I swear to you. Our next sponsor is FID, natural treats, enrichments, and complete foods for the most important person in your house, your dog. Ooh. Ooh. FID supply dogs across the UK with natural products that have been air dry with no nasty additives or preservatives or fillers. Plus, all the treats are to a European standard. Find them on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram on their website, www.fidnaturaltreats.co.uk. As an extra bonus of watching this podcast and being a supporter, you can use the code PODCAST, all in capital letters, and get 10% off your first visit. One order, you get 10% off. Thank you. Yeah, and you know what, that, that is a thing, right, with the Black Prince. It's, it was rough. Before, like, Oh God, it was rough as shit, right? Mm. Proper. I remember my mate scrapping in a bin once there, right? Not a massive... Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember it sat, sat in a bin, right? <laughs> and he's swinging, right? Like, and I, and I just... <laughs> right, right. He's looking at a guy, right? In the bin. So we just made him another bin. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but that's a random race. Right? Like, a bin, a bin was. <laughs> so I looked, I looked, I remember just looking at him going, what the fuck? <laughs> I walked off. <laughs> anyway, so, r- right, it's been known for Black Prince for as rough as shit. Yeah, yeah. It is proper rough in here, right? But it's all right because they do a lovely Sunday dinner, right? Like, <laughs> so, on a Sunday, lush. Yeah, lovely yeah. pub, everyone would go in here, Back right? Back in the day. When it Back was, in like, the day, yeah. Yeah. All nice dinners. Yeah, and it was lush, l- nice pub. It was, like, it was like the pub was where then up here. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the disco, right? Yeah. The, the discotheque. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. As, uh, as Onk likes to call it. <laughs> but then, you are there. 
And then it started getting nice again. Obviously, you had nice venues and you had the restaurants upstairs. All you could eat yeah, we, changed, yeah. we called the Free Saints then. So it was like, yeah, parish, you know, Lantris means parish of the free, so yeah. free Saints. Get rid of the name, the Black Prince. Yeah. And I still had Matthew outside fighting in the bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't fight him, but I was a good boy. <laughs> well, we, we got like Sunday. His mother was fighting outside. Yeah, my mother was like, <laughs> yeah. If my mate used the house for a shit. <laughs> How, how big is the hall upstairs? It used to hold like 400 people. That's yeah, a good oh, size. Big old sit place. We, then. Honestly, we spent some money on it and stuff like that. It's just gone round. How, like how long were they had? Oh, had 20 odd years? 20 odd years, yeah. Fuck, that's mad. But I've always liked, I also thought I'd like to run a, run, a, run, a, run a pub. Yeah. But it'd be bad for me if I run a pub. Mate, you, mate, you, you would. <laughs> it, it would, though. I thought I'd also run a pub, but I, I'd be alcoholic. I just couldn't imagine doing the accounts I, at the end. It was stock. <laughs> 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 We, we only sold two beers. We fucking this two hundred and forty. This guy, this, uh, this guy, you have to roll him out like freaking Jabba the Hutt. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every time he came, he you know, when he came, where's Mister Sandra? <laughs> yes, I thought I, I did a package almost, of scampi fries. I was almost weak, on like I went behind the bar and I can't get past the arch again. <laughs> I just live behind the bar the rest of my life. Can you see him? Can I, you see like, like a pack man go back and forth, grabbing <laughs> drinks. <laughs> Uh, reviews. Strangest pub ever. You <laughs> order a pint and he drinks it. Let's go, boys. Tell if you to time him. <laughs> <laughs> like, going back to the Black Prince, right? Yeah. I, I, I remember this, right? My next door neighbour, he's a lot older than me, right? And he used to go regular the Black Prince. Yeah. yeah. And he'd go on one weekend and he'd have a, a batter in now, right? Yeah. I mean, scrapping or whatever. But it turns out, right? He was a bit of a booty as well. Yeah, yeah. He was steaming, fell asleep in the toilet. Woke up about four o'clock when it all closed, alarms going off, and the security guards beat the shit out of me and thought he broke in. Passed out the bonds. Oh, look, he's a. Our next sponsorship is JK Website Development. Um, not only is he a website, he's our producer, Jack. He's absolutely class. Um, he does all website designs. He can upload his stuff. He can keep you track of your websites. He does all aspects of website design and also any audio, any filming, any photography you need to do in. He can do it all. Can he do it all, Simon? He can do it all. And he can also keep on top of two drunken retrobates, which is amazing. <laughs> JK Website Design. Um, go on their website or Facebook page to follow. So well, we'll talk about that because obviously you're both from the valleys, right? So let, let's let's pick out right what you think your two two to each your two roughest towns the valleys are and why. So what, oh, what's your two? That's a good shout. Oh, do you know what? It's got to be, um, Pentra. Yeah, yeah, Pentra. Fuck me. So where about your where about your Pentra? So Pentra is on the. So you have to go past like Chirbert and Chiorki. Then you got to go past. I think it's. I think it's Pentra. Then it's Tom Pentra. But it, it's the Pentra, and you, um, and sometimes when you get to Pentra, it's only small. You drive faster. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Literally, it's like you know, like twenty miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it don't fucking apply there, well, yeah. What, what I yeah, really will trick that is you've survived Triorki and plug in and, and and what was the other one? Tri 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 Triorki and uh, Triorki. Uh, Tri you survived those two. You think it's got to get better now? It fucking doesn't. Like, <laughs> yeah, to get to those towns where we go through the shop, you have to get past it. Like it's really is small, yeah. <laughs> But uh, what's the one? But everyone thinks right in the valleys is is fucking like there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Bay there, yeah. <laughs> Where Matthew's from? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh, no. It's, hold on, it's bay which, rough. Hold which on. part Listen, of bay? Where are we two in bay? Do you know what the English? Do you know what the English word for bay there is? Yeah, graves. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's literally called because a massive battle took there, yeah? yeah. So, so it's literally called Graves, the English word for Beta, yeah? It's called fucking Graves, yeah? And it's still called fucking Beta for a fucking reason. <laughs> it's because everyone's fighting for the fucking yeah. <laughs> it, No, no, it's this part, this, it's always certain parts, yeah? But like literally, like, also, Caffilly's got a reputation, yeah? So. Any magnet, they value everything on Merthyr or Pontypridd. But you don't forget, you forget with the small little places oh, that are yeah, meant yeah, well. Yeah. That, that, that they like, create the, the, the Merthyr throughout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When, when, when there's such little people there, the brothers are fighting each other. I <laughs> 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 oh, can't they, they, wait to have Onk back at Bill Rubbish. Yeah, yeah. I really can't wait for that. Listen, he, he, his, listen, listen. Oh, oh, calm down, Matthew. Calm down. No, what do you do? You do be the rugby club before he goes on stage next time. Bring down a screen. Yeah. Right, guys. Uh, this is Onk in a podcast two years. Ago. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's a, don't forget to laugh. Yeah, but they're all gonna go like. 
yeah, oh. that's fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but you I, know I what? remember to go places and he would go, like, this is a shit. Oh, it's rough yeah. as fuck. He'll go, hey! <laughs> <laughs> but Bade, no, you know what? Bade, Bade is all right, like, actually. But it is, this part, part this part, look, this part of it. But you know what the maddest thing is now? So back in the 90s and early to the used <laughs> retail store, Shit load of druggies, and they did like yeah. lit, dr- drugs was the thing in the valleys. Like, what do you mean back then? Yeah, <laughs> 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 well, no, but here's the maddest thing. What I've noticed, yeah, mm. do you know, like, I can't get the word what's going on, gentrification, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, you can't, it's no, just a no. trap, you cannot gentrify fucking mirth and all that. No, no, <laughs> <Is it possible? laughs> no, I'm telling you now, yeah, they're literally you're gonna you know, Starbucks, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm telling you now. Because of the how like people that can't afford Cardiff and stuff yet, yeah, they, they come in. With, I'm driving like through like even Pentra, yeah, and even there, and people like with nice woolly jackets or something. I'm like nice What's woolly jackets. <laughs> 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 they're, 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 they're called sheep, mate. <laughs> <laughs> they're called sheep. <laughs> Porsche round you. He's wearing a coat or something. I don't. <laughs> Fucking Tories, look at it all warm. Nah. <laughs> listen, listen, uh, listen. I'm just trying to say, m- move to the valley. It's a very nice place. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, because what it is, because oh, oh, obviously all the druggies are dying off. Yeah, I'm losing my business. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. but it's a come to come to come right. to the valley. It's a very nice place. Try yeah. love Uncle's 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 version of gentrification where people buy coats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let me finish, bro. <laughs> I think I let me down on that. Innit? Oh, oh shit. Yeah, but I put myself in it, right? Now, <laughs> I swear to God. I swear. Well, I, sh- yeah, I like gotta be careful. Bully jackets. <laughs> Really like, nice, like, ja- like uh, really nice jackets old. back in the day. No, no, what is it? Look, re- look really smart. As in, it was like that's the fashion of that you see. But what I'm saying to you is, it's like smart looking women, yeah. nice, lovely couples, and got, you know, they're walking through. And I'm like, fuck, are you sure you want to be walking around here? Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? And there's more and more and more coming through. And I'm thinking, loads of people from Cardiff now are starting to move up to the valleys, and like they're there. Yeah. Obviously, they're going to get a really fucking rude awakening when they're back <laughs> here. But I, 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 I honestly think, I must be mad, but I'm, I think it's slowly changing. Like, Because yeah. all the druggies, I think they're getting chucked up to the po- top of Rickoff somewhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> they literally, they, they got some huts over there. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't realise we're going to clip all this, mate. <laughs> Listen, I got I got some flats up there, yeah. There's a n- nice flats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Always the business man. Like, he's not he's oh. trying to sell fucking property on you now. When he come on, we're gonna plug some gigs. He's doing a fucking house auction. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. He's don't, taking the right piss. He said, "Don't worry about fucking eating." <laughs> got some woolly jackets in the back of his car, yo. Landlord for you, mate. The eating number two years. Woolly jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you, Mark? Oh. <laughs> where, where you from? Where do you live now? <laughs> I don't live in the valleys. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! So, but, for, <laughs> right, okay. Let's have a look at the valleys. Then, right. <coughs> so there's parts of the valley. Right, Penries. Yeah. We all hear the Penries. Oh, right. Yeah. That was. I was sorry. That's I was going to say that's, that's Penry. Water, But yeah. we're going. Again, I'm from the valleys. Yeah. So. They're also my kind of people as yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But but that but that's it though. If you're from the valleys and you're saying that's rough, you know it's yeah, yeah, rough, yeah. Right? yeah. But like, is... like Ponty now, right? Yeah, so yeah. Ponty is rough. Ponty, Ponty, yeah, yeah. Ponty town, Ponty has gone to the shit. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is rough as fuck. Yeah, like it's. I like to, I like to say the kids. My, my boy wants to go to, like. There's a comic shop in Ponty. I go there after I go run in. I go to the shop for him and stuff like that. And he yeah. wants to come with you. I'm like, I can't, but. Yeah, I can't take you away, but it's absolutely wild. But but even the comics are custom made instead of Superman, it's Spice Man. Spice Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Captain Coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is. Oh, his boys walking yeah. walk in the, the comic shop and yeah. some like, smack and shout, "They think it was something special. <laughs> they could read you." <laughs> I mean, he's Spice Man. You know, Superman like goes like that, and yes, is there Spice Man? Does that just scavies? <laughs> 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 he just stands there for three hours, like yeah. mong out. Uh, yes, it's the high street. It's the high street, isn't it? In Pop- yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all. It's got. Yeah, yeah I've, it is. I, I went bad. Yeah, it is bad. Not even on good go here. Like. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, my, uh, pot, well, pot, the opportunity for shop. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. My grandpa was a market trader, right? And he's from Gloucester originally. Yeah. 
and he, and people the, the party preach over the biggest the best markets in UK. Mm. People travel. He was like a fucking prop market town when he years ago. It was a real yeah. busy area, man. It's like that a lot of places, man. This the problem with the valley as well. There's no like we're, we're lucky at the top because the motorway goes straight through you, so you can't pull off. Yeah. <laughs> but in the valley, it's such a fucking ball to get up there, isn't it? Yeah. It's a fucking that's it's killing all. Avenues wants to let you know about their festival coming up, the Shunk Fest, coming up very soon over three days. It's from the 30th of August all the way through to the 1st of September. Shunk Fest is it a normal music festival locally with a few cover bands and it got a tribute up with the wig on at the end. It's nothing like that. It's got three days original music from 25 bands from across the UK's headliners include Slug, Saloon Dion, Get Down Services with support from the one the only Pigeon Wings, Water Pistol, Art, The Shunkos, The Lost Cause, Jackson Lucet, HKH and much more. You're now wondering how much all this would cost for 25 bands. Yeah, just that's God. How much would it cost for 25 bands? A unique venue with a license bar. How much is it going to cost, hey, man? What's, what's it saying, God? It's 20 pounds. 20 pounds for three days, baby. 20 pounds for the three days. Where do you get tickets from? You can go to shunkfest.co.uk. And how many days is it on for? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. I went last year. I enjoyed it. This is Jen. It was absolutely class. Simon's come this year. Jack's coming, the producer. We're gonna have a laugh. We're gonna have a good time. Go to shunkfest.co.uk. Oosh. So uh, let's do the superhero, the superpower question. So that was a good one, no? Mm-hmm. So we, we basically uh, we ask our guests as well. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? And what what would it be? And what would you do with it? What I know what Onkers is get his tenants to pay rent on time. <laughs> <laughs> Knock the door. I've got my money, lovely. That's all I want in life. I don't want any shit. <laughs> Where would you go for that? So back in the day, right, mm. I would have been like invisible, right? Be invisible. I would love that. Oh, right? yeah. Because obviously when you're younger and you're horny and you want to see naked women. And yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, still the a thing now, but also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A standard, that's expectation of, of a, yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a, yeah. a teenager. But now I think it would be like, I don't know, just to not, you know, not come so quick. That, <laughs> but that, so that, that would be like, you know, my super, but the opposite of of, of was it pre, was it called pre uh, uh, premature premature ejaculation. Ejaculation. the yeah. opposite to that basically <laughs> that's my that's what I go for now would you be my or, or would, you, would you rather you just like have a what's it called a doppelganger and you can make two of yourself and he stays in the house it's all clean and he might be beyond the pub. <laughs> 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 I just comes back. Hold on, you've been sharking my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you was meant to do the cleaning. <laughs> the food lasted longer than usual, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, that was better. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of your superhero. Come when less. I said Finn Lacroix, the when... <laughs> big C out there. Come, let's is here. <laughs> I got when, when I said Finn Lacroix, and I meant the fucking Archdrive. <laughs> 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 uh, what would you go for? Uh, it's going to be a money making scheme. With yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, no, like, like, I, I wish the superpower of an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> it's every Asian dream, do you know what I mean? I'm really good at maths. Like, do you know what I mean? But <laughs> this is, this is, this is, I don't know. But the tax man comes. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you repel the tax man when he comes in. Do you know what I mean? HMRC, you owe this money. Go away! <laughs> What would your outfit be? You'd have a woolly jumper, I know that. Yeah, yeah. A woolly jacket on. <laughs> you know, those are the most, uh, both of those are the most adult uh, answers we've ever had to those questions. Like, Matt doesn't want to come as quickly. You don't want to pay your fucking bills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's so fucking true. <laughs> like my granny yeah, yeah. old self is going, you wank. Look at what have you turned out to be. Yeah, <laughs> but it's so true. But it's like when we like when it comes to sex now, it don't happen very often. I right? just be honest. Married fourteen years. Yeah. It's like I want to make the most of it, and I just can't, yeah. I can't make the most of it. <laughs> it's shit in fairness. <laughs> I feel sorry for myself. Like, <laughs> I, I sorry, I'm going yeah. upstairs with the cleaning. <laughs> you think that's you think that's bad, yeah? Like I'm not saying it's bad, but the thing is, the one time that me and Mrs. were able to get jiggly jaggly, yeah, I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jiggly jaggly. Yeah. You are overweight. It's not that bad. Jiggly jaggly. Yeah. <laughs> Sample catchphrase. Oh, that would turn any woman off. 
Do you want to get jiggly joggly? <laughs> <laughs> get jiggly <laughs> joggly. <laughs> like Mr. Tumble. <laughs> you know what? I've been watching too many cartoons with the kids, yeah? So Liv was hi, jingly jangly. That's the, and B- I'm saying the to BBC the has got you I'm big li- time, but Literally, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm watching Mrs. Mrs. fucking Peppa Pig, and I'm like, fuck off, Peppa. Do you know what I mean? Like a sexton. Just go and tell me what you want to do to me, love. <laughs> the fucking jingly jangly. <laughs> I don't. I you know what those dancing flowers? I got. I got. I got. Do you want to get kinky? Like what's that? Two bike chains. Fucking hell! Tie me up, not chain me up. I'm not a fucking Apollo. Fucking five bike. Jiggly jiggly. I'm only fucking jiggly jiggly. Come on. The thing is, carry on, man. The one time, the one time that we hit jiggly jangly, yeah. I don't know if you know. I say this about Satya. Yeah? The one time, just the one time, and. Literally done. Literally eight weeks later, I'm sitting in the in a room when the wife's trying to find out we're pregnant to find out we got three fucking babies on the fucking way, bro. No, <laughs> we got triplets. Tripl- <laughs> fucking triplets, bro. Oh, Jeez, you know. Christ, bro. Honest to God, yeah. The one time, the 39 years old, Matthew. Yeah, Jeez. Matthew knows it. Christ, the 39. The one time we Even had a your spunk is trying to get multiple tenants. <laughs> 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 you know what? I literally, I'm trying to tell this. Literally, the, my 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 jiggly jaggly swimmers, yeah, must have got to the three eggs, yeah. Dancing, yeah. Because what happened was that they literally the the ones cast as singleton, ones cast as two twins. So literally, which means one in had a party, and one went in and says, "Oh, I could turn this into a HMO." <laughs> <laughs> I turned it spit the egg, fucking done like you know what I mean? it, lit- it literally so Asian, yeah. Walked in, and when I'm told my dad, yeah, I kid, I told my dad he's a fucking piss taker. He is. So you come in, we found out we, me and Mrs. couldn't drive for half an hour, and we literally got in the guy. Someone's taking the piss. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Walked in and got into the house, and I said to my dad, he, and I said. Told him the news, they were triplets. I swear to God, he started looking up and going, Where can we get free shops now? <laughs> 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 he started literally, 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 literally expanding it. And my mother, yeah, standing next to my wife, we told her, She's like, Oh my God. And I'm there standing there going, Yeah, mum, you know, this is big, you know, it's massive news. She comes over, she literally fucking barges me out the way, pushes me over the settee yeah. to give my wife a hug, like literally. And she goes, You fuck off. You better look after her now and literally for nine months my mother was just keeping it because she would live around the corner for yeah, me. Yeah. that's the problem living around the parents around the corner just keeping an eye on me yeah and i swear to god bro they came they came a day before my 40th birthday Fuck oh, jesus know. christ and i literally i remember on the, i was gonna get a 40th i was telling matt this before yeah i was on a 40th i was gonna get a nice fucking beautiful beamer yeah, yeah yeah and it was gonna be gorgeous yeah it was oh mate i oh, had no, it like, all no, lined no. up and then literally <clears throat> when i found out i was having the triplets yeah i literally was in my car app setting yeah changing from fucking sports car to fucking dad's car bro yeah. <laughs> literally yeah in minibus <laughs> i kid you not yeah i had this dream of a beautiful free series fucking bmw in there and i'm now driving a fucking seven-seater Seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I swear to God, bro, I parked up outside your car, yeah, outside your place here, yeah. and someone knocked on the window, so you are right, drive. He says a business man, like, man, like uh, he threw a 40th party in his own pub, round with people, he'd be working. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, a party, yeah, yeah, so nice one, mate. <laughs> and me and Sandra would have been friends then, he'd be behind the bar, like, <laughs> Matthew be in the corner taking the shit, and Simon will be like, what the fuck is going on? Our next sponsorship is complete composite doors, windows, and repairs. They specialize in all aspects of the double glaze industry, from UPVC to aluminium windows and doors and glass replacements. They also specialize in high quality composite doors for over 100 designs to choose from. They are at Circus accredited company and they have over 10 years experience in the double glazing industry covering all of South Wales. They're a proud sponsor of this podcast. I say thank you very much. Also, the products also come with a 10-year guarantee for the free quotation. Please contact them directly on 0169 500 515. You can also find them on Facebook, Google and also look at their high standard of quality work. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. 
minutes now. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll question. I just want to, want to ask you boys. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So, um, if you, you guys get any uh, dating um, experiences, like the worst first date you've ever been on, or or a date that just got out of hand and it, and it's it sort of stuck in your mind, Matt. That, that, those are the eyes of a man that's, that's seen too much. Yeah, have well, you got any? So I, I didn't really do dating, right? Yeah. I, I, Shag like, him and I, him yeah, off. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember like I dated I dated in school, right? Yeah. I in school. I remember going like one of the first dates with some girl, right? Yeah. Went out. Um you went to watch the Flintstones in Cardiff in a cinema in Cardiff, right? Yeah, yeah. But my, my one of my mates wanted to go as well, so I said, Come on then. Yeah. <laughs> it was me, me and him and this girl I took on a date, right? Yeah. Then oh, got 20 fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an octopus, baby? I know you from the valleys. You can't be that impressed. <laughs> <laughs> then, but then I kind of like, I didn't do the all the details. So basically, yeah. Yeah. Getting pissed on a Saturday. It was like, like early, like modern speed dating. Yeah, Like, yeah, like yeah. literally, yes, yeah, Stephen, go girl to girl to girl until somebody would chag me, basically, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And that'd be it. Yeah. And then I'd give her my number, then they'd ring me, but obviously I sound like my old man, I did. And you might have then. Yeah, no, they, they'd have to ring my If I answer, they go, hey, is Martha where? And I'm like, uh, uh, no, he's not, sorry. It's his father. He's, he's not. So I just make up some he's shit. He's in the right? Yeah, he's yeah, run away yeah, yeah. and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, right? So I kind of went through that, but I did go on a date. I remember going yeah. on a date with this girl, right? Not long after I passed my drive-in test now, right? So, uh, met this girl, took, kind of took it out, we went on a date, a, a sober date, right? Yeah, so, obviously, yeah. I'm not well, clued up on him. Yeah. So, I remember, like, picking her up, and we were driving through um, Ponaclean now, right, yeah. to take her down to her house. All the best so, places. All, yeah. all the nice places, yeah. right? And, it, you know, at the time, like, you know, when you pass your driving test, and at the time, you've been nervous about different things, speed cameras weren't a thing then, but, like, every now and again, they like, these rubber things across the road, right? And everyone thought they were speed cameras, speed things, right? Yeah, yeah. So, we're driving through Ponaclean now, when it was back in the days, I had my Kia Pride, right? This is the car they had, right? Yeah. Kia Pride. Are you, are you on a quite, he is quite walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were back in the day, you had a quick Kia Pride. <laughs> yeah. I had my Kia Pride, right? Uh, and like, rainbow colour. We don't wear seatbelts either, right? They wear seatbelts, right? Yeah, Craig, yeah. Craig David was blasting, it was back in the old oh, time, right? Yes, right? So, anyway, I was going through now, 30 mile hour, I was going like 45, 50, right? So I didn't give a shit. And... I saw these two black things on the floor, right? And I panicked instantly, right? Slammed my foot on a brick. Now this girl, right? I knew I was breaking. She did it, right? She was like a wall. <laughs> like a bang, straight back. And then just boom, all over there. She was a fucking right knot now, right? I just remember looking at her. <laughs> like a... Right? <laughs> you got blood on my fucking car, you bitch. <laughs> well, I think of a Kia Pies ruined by her. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> and I think well, we were on the way to her house anyway. But like with three quarters here, I think she like felt like felt like I want to get rid of this prick. But yeah, still, I'm obliged to like you know crack on for a little bit longer. Like. Yeah, yeah. I saw the once so I was it then, and I obviously we messing around as well. Yeah, and yeah. I remember like going down. Well, I didn't shag her. Yeah, yeah. I didn't shag her. We whispering for. I don't know. We whispering. <laughs> I didn't shag her, right? Yeah. But I remember. Yeah. I remember neck. You know, we were on. This is like the second part, like a two part that now, yeah. right? And I was on the bed, like like sliding my hands down now, right? Yeah. I did undo a belt or the fly, yeah. so I literally got my hand on it, stuck. I was <laughs> 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 so just like, I remember being this stuck, now my hands are stuck, and I can't do fuck. Oh, I was just lying there. And I, <laughs> I'm really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get old man to get my hand like <laughs> pull it up, Matt. Yeah. But no, that was. That's kind of it for me, but I was—I don't I, think I saw it ever again. I'd love it if you couldn't get your hand out the day later. You're in work with a fucking girl. <laughs> <laughs> a girl stuck to your hand. Oh, I did get it out. <laughs> and I just had, like, I've been in a bath for three days. It's like, oh, quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's all wrinkled up. Walks oh. to work, w- woman stuck to him with two black eyes. <laughs> I swear <laughs> I didn't hit it. It was the car. Yeah. It was the Kia Pride. Uh. <laughs> I was saving my points. <laughs> and and I, again, we used to like, when you're doing that, the, the dating, right? And I, not say the dating, like on the piss. And I remember, going, I literally would go from a girl to girl. The one that, the one that took any interest, I would stick to her. Also, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I remember the boys just said, I was steaming. I used to get up completely wasted, right? And my sister's friend was in now, and she was like standing on the pool table, and I was talking to other boys. I was just getting closer and closer and closer. And all yeah. she was, was like, like the Matrix, like Neo. She was like, ah, going back. <laughs> Like a ninety degree angle, like bend my forward trying to get away from me. <laughs> Do you know, like my my taste in women used to be so bad, right? My cousin said something; it was genius, right? So I I'd always be dating like problematic problematic women, right? And um, 
probably wouldn't need for the podcast. Came from <laughs> and my cousin said, he goes, do you know where you are? He goes, you're the kind of guy. He goes, we could be in a nightclub. He goes, I could come over with a Swedish supermodel who's a millionaire who's interested in you and you'd be looking over her shoulder at the girl self-harming in the corner. <laughs> It's <laughs> fucking love true. Danger, like, like. Uh, I just love danger. Like, Onka, any 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 uh, dating stories? <laughs> so I so I uh, so I passed my driver test. Yeah, and mm. I was like, fucking yes. And and it took me until I was sixteen. You could do it back then, but it took me until I was eighteen to do a hand. Yeah, then yeah. So I was like, fucking yes. So when I with my boys, went into Cardiff, and it was like down Mill Street. Yeah. Anyway, so going there, doing our thing, yeah, getting jingly jangly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my fucking catchphrase now. Yeah. I'm going to talk, jingly jangly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the way back with the missus, I got right, I'll take her back to my house, but I got to go to the cash and carry first. It opens at five, get some stuff, get back up. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking ruined it? Yeah. So I was really fucking naive back then. Yeah. yeah. So going into the club and stuff, obviously no, no drink or drive and stuff. And I got there and I was like, yeah, so getting, getting on with this girl. And was, I think it was Berlin's back in the day. Fucking Berlin's. Everyone know Berlin. Yeah. Fucking yeah. rough as fuck, but wicked. It's in, like it's naughty women. Anyway, so pulled <laughs> this girl. And she naughty. says, look, listen. No, naughty. Like jingly jangly. No, jingly jangly. <laughs> That's so conservative, isn't it? Honestly, I'm naughty like, girl. Naughty girl. Not this is cast phrase now. I've read his life. Maybe we've got him. Jingly jangly. <laughs> I can't wait to fuck sh- I can't. I swear yeah. That's it's the most Asian thing I've ever heard about. Yeah, he's not the I don't think it's... I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> Like fucking East is East. <laughs> it is. I think. I think it is from fucking East to East. That's the subject. So she, she literally, she got into the club, pulled pulled this girl, and she said, "Look, listen, should we go back?" Yeah. I said, "Yeah." I said, "Well, listen." She goes, "What well, are you driving?" So I got my keys out. It's a Mercedes. Yeah. And she says, "What kind of two seater?" She was like, "Oh, fucking yeah, this is all right." Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was so naive back in the day. She walked over, and we walked in a bit far. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? It was right in one of the corners. We got there. She turns, "What the fuck is this?" I says, "My van." <laughs> 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 and it wasn't fucking lying, bro, yeah? It's <laughs> literally <laughs> Sprinter, yeah? Mercedes, yeah? <laughs> For a toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> literally there. She literally... And I'm thinking, well... <clears throat> It's all the fucking same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, well, we can get in the back if you want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she goes, I'm not fucking getting in this fucker. <laughs> That's what it's your fucking house. <laughs> Maybe you open the back door, Matt's in there, stuck in my cool. I live. Trying to lube up with Strongbow. <laughs> I was so fucking naive that day uh, yeah. that I literally thought that anyone who had a fucking vehicle of any type, yeah, yeah. that's all right. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, well, like, I pulled the girl, I saved it. Yeah. Because the only problem was, because I was 18, because that day, I swear to God, I said to my dad, I passed that morning, I said to dad, oh, dad, listen, I'm driving my passing driving test. And my brother and my dad started crying. Yeah. Like, this is amazing. My dad took, took me the car, the van keys. He said, there's seven trolleys in the fucking cash and carry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so literally that morning, oh, I did, So because they had to take me in the van to go help them. Now yeah. they didn't fucking take because we were back in the valleys. <laughs> so that day, I loaded seven fucking, like a pallet of fucking carling. I had to get home, get dressed. And he goes, son, dad said, keep the van. <laughs> so... <laughs> I didn't get a shag out of it one time though, yeah. <laughs> but that day, I really thought, yeah, that I could get away you with got a transport, like, yeah. yeah. But I wasn't wrong. I had a two seater Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you know what, right? We take about Cardiff, right? I used to work in Cardiff, and I went, um, like, uh, legal in general, was right? And we yeah, go in here, and after that, yeah. so Friday night, last, like, the first Friday or last Friday of the month, payday, right? And you go into Cardiff. Anyway, my old man just picked me up. Go out to have a good feel. My old man picked me up, and all right. But anyway, pull this girl, and all right, from which church? So we're in Cardiff. I thought, oh, my, own, my dad will drop you home on the way home, right? Do a nice yeah. thing, in it, Do a lovely thing. So uh, I said, my man turned up, and I said, Dad, all right, if I can't remember her name, if she had a lift. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. I know what he's doing. <laughs> she jumped in the back of the car. I got a back of the car with her. So <laughs> my man's in the front of the car now, driving to fucking okay, witch church, right? Not even a back neck in this girl. <laughs> I can't believe I'm. 
Like, and looking back, I'm like, that must have been so fucking awkward. I, I, what a bad thing to do. And just jump in the back of the car and power neck and some girl. Like. Oh, but the thing is, the, car, the car was a Kia, so his dad gave it to him, so I'm not fucking having it. <laughs> 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 if it was his old man, he got on the back, the beat would be on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give a fuck who she is, she's saying it. It's fucking true, though. It's fucking true. It'd be true. Uh, <laughs> right, are you getting done, Harlan? Yeah, that's a great place. Yeah, that's yeah. been the uh, Problematic Pub Podcast. Well, I'm ready. Like and subscribe our videos. What episode was this? Number 20. Number 20. Yeah. Uh, do, I, do I plug in there or do anything, boys? Do you want to plug? Yeah, just go just, just, just want... like now. <laughs> 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 I got some two empty flats here up in the <laughs> Good price. So that's a left of a bog roll. Smoke the day strong though. <laughs> you, you run your own comedy nights, right? Yeah, so running uh, Laughing Chicken down in uh, Boomerang Cardiff Lounge, which is a charity cafe. So we, every money that we raise, all profits go back to helping Boomerang who help the homeless there as well. So it's a great night and all that. And uh, it's Why are you brilliant. running a comedy night to help homeless and you've got empty flats? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> man, isn't he? It's a He's car. all about the money. <laughs> He's all about the money. <laughs> <laughs> It would be from he's an Italian, bucket, innit? He's with a bucket split for a ten. He got fucking for empty properties. <laughs> Listen, this guy is Italian. He owns coffee chains. He still fucking charges the home. <laughs> right, we've been to the side of my life, Sandro Ford. Uh, Good night. Right, you're going to get us. guys. Uh, thank you. Matt Hurd and uh, Uncle Sam. Oh, fuck nice yeah. boys. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking boys. Oh, that was a good episode, boys. Thanks, son. You enjoyed that. Thank you. That is easy.